What up, Wayfinders? Welcome to the Wayfinder Training Force, where I try to keep you updated on all things Wayfinder. So in today's video, we got a bunch of new room stuff. I'm going to be showing you how I got it and what there is. Um, I already did one video today, um, which was how to get the turtle pet. And so check out my channel. So we got a Christmas tree. You can find that in the store shop currently. All right. So I'm just going to run around my room. I'm just going to upload this raw footage because I don't feel like editing very much today because I've been on the grind. So the first artifact that we are going to check out today is going to be the Bloodborne. So it looks like some party lights when you smack it, right? Not too bad. Um, I'll show you what it does in a minute in terms of uh, abilities. All right. Um, so that is one of the two new artifacts that you can currently get. Um, I spent 12 hours trying to get both of these artifacts and I did 10 hours solo and then two hours I finally got some help from people and I was able to get it but anyways there's the first artifact and above the first this dangly little octopus thing that is the dread legion artifact not too shabby right so they increased the amount of things you can place in your room. So that's why it is super crowded in my room now. Um, I got lots of room to place all of my duplicates. And yeah. Anyway, so there's the turtle I was telling you about. I'll put a link to it up in the corner so you can check out how to get that turtle. He's pretty neat. Um, that's the Reaver King artifact. Uh, that's an event item. So that might... That might come back in the future. Uh, that's a founder's item. And then on my left, you got, you know, the storm twins. And then you got the skeleton chest one. All right. But that's pretty much it for um, stuff in my room. So I'm going to show you what these artifacts do. Right, so, um, first the Bloodborne. So, its active effect is it increases your weapon power depending on ammo. 1% bonus with full clip and 10% bonus on your last shot. So that could be nice. And then Dread Legion is, um, active effect is increases your magic defense in relation to your impact meter. Uh, 10% bonus magic defense when it is full so right now defense isn't working very well or at all if you're <laughs> you're basically like a squishy bug out there it was rough uh out there today if you're not using guns it sucks i'm not gonna lie it really does like you die one hit from anything and especially these hunts that you be running to get these artifacts so in the shop, you can see there's the Christmas tree. Uh, so I, that's not me cutting it off. Uh, they have some UI problem because uh, they added that Iron Sister uh, outfit for Senya. So it made it all a little bit wider. Um, so it does not fit currently. But that's where you get the Christmas tree. Um, it's a limited time thing. So go ahead and grab it if you really want it. Um, I'm showing you this shader I got from the Helper Coin Shop. Uh, it's called Helper Viridian. It's it's a nice, nice like turquoise blue, light blue. It's not bad. It costs 150 helper coins. Um, and then this is what we we're looking for. So we got the Bloodborne artifact recipe and the Dread Legion artifact recipe. So those are what you're trying to get to drop. So like I said, it took me about 12 hours to get both of them, and they both dropped for me in the <laughs> the last two hours of, of my farm. Like, it was like one right after the other. And I kept alternating between the two because I'd get so bored, um, or I aggravated, I would say, because Bloodborne will one-shot you with his laser. And then Dread Legion, yeah, that's always a fun one, right? So, but shout out to uh, these two people, uh, Prophetic and Crimson, for helping me in my final couple hours 
uh, farm those runs so that way I could speed run them and get those. You don't need to be in any specific sphere. You can do it in any sphere. I did it in sphere one when I got both of those to drop. Uh, so doesn't you don't get an increased chance by going to sphere four. So just a heads up. The only thing that increases for drop rate is going to be the vestiges and the essences, which are the parts for the weapons as well as the wayfinders. So this is also the new skin inside the helper coin shop Thunderbolt that I got equipped onto my rune cannon. It is, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. I'm glad that they didn't toss it. It was the original design for Arc Storm. So, and as you can see here, I'm kind of showboating a little bit, but I have every weapon maxed already. Um, I put in the grind. I've probably slept about four hours in the last two days. So that's why my editing is going to be like crap on this video because <laughs> I want to get some sleep before the event drops and I will give you a review on my next video on these weapons and how good they are and what I think so far um, and I didn't even have to use my scrolls honestly I only used a couple of them uh, but I, I didn't use very many at all because I believe in the future that they are going to be worth m more XP. I think everybody's burning through them right now, so they lowered the amount of XP for them. But after everybody burns through them, I'm sure they'll raise the amount of XP they're worth. So uh, after you get those artifact recipes, you're going to take them to Ruby over here. And these are the parts that you are going to need to farm in order to craft these. So I was so excited when I got these. You have no clue. It was farming for artifacts is the hardest thing to do in this game and i have every single one now again thank goodness so that farm is over and one of the cool things if you don't know now if you go check out your map you can actually teleport straight to your apartment you don't gotta walk all the way back but that's all i got for you guys in today's video look for my weapon review video next until then We'll catch you later, Wayfinders. That's it for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe so that way you can stay tuned in for more in the future. And as always, until next time, Wayfinders.